Hey folks, hadn't seen you in a while. We're going to learn something new today. Uh, hopefully you've been practicing your the first 10 lessons that I put out here. And if you have, then you and you've learned, you know, Cripple Creek, Bowling Cabbage Down, and you went out and tried to learn from the video that I posted, uh, You Are My Sunshine, you might actually be ready for this. And, and, and just I'm going to give you some new information and some, you know, some new stuff to think about, but this is the way we learn. So we, we get new information and new ideas, and so this might stretch where you are, but th this is how you learn. So I'm going to give, give, give you this. We're going to learn Foggy Mountain Breakdown. Now, if you're expecting this to be a note-for-note -note version of what Earl Scruggs recorded, well look somewhere else because that's not what this is. This is just a way to get you playing Foggy Mountain Breakdown. I'm going to teach you one break and that way when it comes up, if you're at a jam session and somebody says, hey, can you play Foggy Mountain Breakdown? You can say, yes, I can. And and this this gets you started. Uh, it's got some new ideas. So, and we'll just go through them a piece at a time. So the first new idea is is the roll. And I'm, I'm not sure if we covered in, in lessons 1 through 10, and if we did, I'm sorry, but I'm going to go through it again. And if I didn't, here it is, brand new. So it's, uh, the roll is a 2-1-2-1-5-2-1-5. I learned it when I was playing. I called it a double forward roll. But anyway, it's, I started with the index. Index, middle, thumb, middle. So that's 2-1-2-1-2-1. Two, one, five. So, and it's just now. This is a good place to stop the video and go work on that. So, pause the video, go work on it. Come back tomorrow, and we'll we'll learn a, the next part, and which is right now. So the next thing I want you to do is, is, is we're going to do a hammer-on. Now, we've done hammer-ons before. And so this hammer-on is at the from the second fret to the third. So that means we have to hold the second string at the second fret. And we're going to hit the second string. And, and then we're going to hammer that note. So from two to three on the second string. A little different, but difference good. So we're going to go and we're going to use that with our roll. So it's going to be two, one, two, one, five, two, one, five. So we pick it up. So two, one, two, one, five, two, one, five. times be able to do it smooth doesn't have to be fast but just smooth so it's three times when you get to there so that's going to be our next little piece and so it's a third string I hit it with my index and then I go five three one Three. So that's new. Three, five, three, one, three. So practice that. Now, so here's what it sounds like. And now we're ready for a new chord. Now, so E minor. So we're going to learn an E minor chord. It's two fingers, it's your two middle fingers. It's your middle finger and your ring finger. And it's the fourth fret, second fret, fourth string, second fret, first string, second fret. So it's just, it looks just like that. Those two fingers not doing anything. Those two are holding down two strings. And that's an E minor. We're gonna slide to it, so. You can just make that whole chord. I usually just hold the fourth string 
at the first fret, hit that string, and then slide up. You can hold them both down, doesn't matter. And then one, two, three. So it sounds like. So here's where we are in the song. Sounds familiar, right? <laughs> Very good. Now, so this next thing is, is something we kind of know. It's a forward and reverse roll. We're going to start it on the fourth string, holding that E minor, but we're going to hammer on that fourth string. And we've done that fourth string. We've done that hammer before. It's just forward and reverse with that hammer. So, got that? So here we are. Now here's something new, different, and important. This next lick, I'm sure it's got a name somewhere in the world. It's a G lick, and it's a G lick that you'll use a lot. I mean, it'll, it'll come up time and time again. And so I'll go through it a little bit here with you just to take you through it. Let me play it. That's the lick we're going to use, or the lick we're going to try to use. So it's a. Uh, so, so after the E minor. So the lick is. One more time, let you hear it. So it starts with the thumb on the third, and then five, three, one. So, five, three, which is a slide, five, three, so it's a two to three slide. One, three, four, one, three. And that three is actually the next part of the phrase, but don't worry about that because I want you to get used to the way that lick sounds. So. I recommend right here again, it's another great place to pause the video, is take that lick, so it's three, five, three, one, three, four, one, three. It repeat, you can play it over and over, so it's, it, it'll sound like. something new I think you can do with YouTube now is you can slow this stuff down and so feel free to do that if you want a good chuckle turn on the closed caption and see what YouTube decides what I'm saying it's always funny but voice recognition I'm from Georgia so when you get to that we do that five three one three again so five three one Back to the E minor. We do that lick two times in a row there. So here, here's what we've got. And, and then we're going to have one more lick and pretty much builds the whole song. But we'll get there. Wait, here we go. So from the very beginning, do that again that was a little messy but that's okay if you do it and it's a little messy that's great if I know it's a little messy maybe I need to do it where you can hear it a little cleaner so here we go but everybody makes mistakes so maybe they're just happy accidents <laughs> Thank you. 
right here, instead of hitting that third string open, we're going to hit our four. One, one. Now I call this, I call the four, one, one lick. It's not going to get you information, but it's, but it's kind of how we started. So four, one, one. So. Four one one, so it comes out. So after we do that little G lick, four one one. Now we're going to do a hammer on that two to two to three hammer. So this is going to be a brand new lick, and it's a very important lick. Two one now. Done your hammer, take your index finger, we're going to put it on the first string, second fret, and we're going to do a forward and reverse roll five off the five. So five, two, one, five, and then we're going to do one, two, three, one, and the three is going to be a reverse slide, three, one. So five, two, one. So four, one, one, two, one, five, two, one, five, one, two, three, one. All right. Roll her back, do it time and time again. So here it is. Four, one, one, two, one, five, two, one, five, one, two, three, one. Now that little slide backwards you can do that as a pull-off now I've got a video out here if you poke around and search for a three to two pull-off video by me you'll find it but it's just so instead of sliding back we hold our index and we do a pull-off from three to two but for you you just starting this do that backwards slide so four one one hammer And now we're going to do our lick again, the G lick. Three, five, three, one, three, four, one, three. So let me play you what you've got. I'll do it slowish. So starting from the beginning. Two, one, two, one, five, two, one, five. Three, five, three, one, three, four, slide. intro we can do an intro uh, and that intro and you've heard it hit your first two strings open use your two fingers and then at the first fret and then the second fret and then that's where we start Foggy Mountain Breakdown. So work on it. Practice, 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 practice. But you can do this. So good luck. Leave a comment, like, share, tell your friends, tell your neighbors. Uh, get your banjo out. Practice a little bit. We'll see you next time. All right. Bye.